You can think intellectually in a no-think way. That's the art. It doesn't mean not to have any thoughts at all. It means not to be fooled by thoughts, not to be hypnotized by the forms of speech and images that we have for the world, not to be hypnotized by them into thinking that that is the way the world really is. Don't let words limit the possibilities of life. Anybody who says that he knows what Zen is, is a fraud. Nobody knows. Just like you don't know who you are. All this business about your name and your accomplishments, your certificates, what your friends say about you, you know very well that's not you. But the problem to know who you are is the problem of smelling your own nose. But a person who thinks that in order to be awakened, you have to be heartless, to have no emotion, no feelings, that you couldn't possibly lose your temper or get angry or feel annoyed or depressed. Those people haven't got the right idea at all. Your real mind, while all those emotions are going on, is imperturbable. To be pure-minded in the Zen way, or clear-minded is a better way of translating it, is not to have no thoughts. It is purity, clarity, in the sense that your mind isn't sticky. You don't harbor grievances. You don't be attached to the past. You go with it, with life. Life is flowing all the time. That is the Tao, the flow of life. You can swim against the stream, but you'll still be moved along by it. And all you'll do is wear yourself out in futility. But if you swim with the stream, the whole strength of the stream is yours. But suddenly, as it goes, all the past vanishes, the future has not yet arrived. And there is only one place to be, which is here and now.